So this is the plan. Uh, if this was the tractor, and this is the back of the tractor kind of thing, uh, differential, axle and axle. I'm going to put a bevel gear on the end of each axle, second bevel gear on an, another shaft running to the back of the tractor here. These are going to be my big pods with the screws on them on either side. Screws will be opposite directions. And then on the back of this shaft there will be a gear, another gear here with a chain, gear, gear, and a chain. Uh, this is going to give me opposite rotation on both the screws. The way I'm going to steer is I'm going to put a brake disc on each axle. And if I brake one side it's going to speed the other side up and that's going to give me my turns. So I'll show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to need to build a, a 90 degree gearbox uh, and I'm going to use these uh, side gears and spider gears from this GM differential. So I'm going to have two spider gears and two side gears. And uh, the way I'm going to configure those is like this. And that's going to give me a two to one drive ratio. So I'm going to actually gear from the differential of the tractor down two to one. So it's going to give me 50% of the speed and more torque to the to the tracks or not tracks the screws so uh, I'll show you how I'm going to build these little gear boxes and then from there we should get our drive system going this will be the driven gear that's uh, the larger of the two gears I need to reduce this down to three quarter inch for the shaft that's going to drive the back tracks off a chain uh, so I found this bushing uh, Princess Auto um, doesn't quite fit in there so I'm going to turn this down on the lathe and get it to slide into there. So once the bushings are turned down I've got them just to slide into there, kind of beat them, press them in. I'm going to weld this along here and I'm going to weld it along there. That's going to give me my driven gear. This will be the setup for the drive gear. Uh, it's going to be the smaller of the two gears and I'm going to weld it to this one inch uh, collar because that's going to slide onto the axle of the tractor. I just made this little uh, plastic plug on the lathe that slides in nice and tight into that and then allows me to slide in nice there. That's going to center everything up. I'm going to squash this in the press, pull the plug out, and then I'm going to weld it along there. Uh, hopefully that's going to be strong enough. Uh, I guess time will tell on that one. So that's going to be the drive gear. Here's one of the output gears uh, installed on the tractor. So it's on the differential. Uh, this is actually going to be one of the disc brakes. Uh, disregard these teeth, I'll probably end up cutting those off or just using them for testing uh, to see how, how much braking force I'm going to need. So that's going to be the drive out of there. You're going to have your other spider gear driving the shaft back to here and then a chain running down to drive the screw. Uh, because one gear is going to be on this side and one gear is going to be on this side, uh, that's going to give me my change in direction so the screws are going to churn opposite of each other. So uh, eventually there'll be some kind of disc brake setup mounted on here and I'm going to get the shafts running back like I was saying to this uh, screw. So here is the semi finished product on the uh, drive system. Uh, you can see I have my drive gear mounted to the axle. We have our driven gear mounted to this uh, jack shaft and I have the chains going down to drive the augers. Uh, everything's looking pretty good, pretty happy with it. Uh, this is going to be the brake disc, probably cut these teeth off like I'd said. Maybe mount a caliper off here somewhere. That's going to give you my steering. But uh, uh, You can see here how the spiders are working. Uh, obviously this is not the best way to do it. I, they're fully exposed for starters with no lubrication so I'm not sure if they're going to last. I'm hoping to kind of uh, put some kind of box around them with some grease or something, but I'm just going to try it like this to see if it works. There it is.